Hello friends, Marcy here, and I am working on some of my catch-up videos. I have some uh, samples watching to do with you, <clears throat> excuse me, and I want to get these put away in their tray because I'm working on another project. I do want to share with you um, my ink storage cart that um, I've had going for some time, and it's changed over time, and it's kind of still in... Uh, changing again because I have to rearrange my storage to make room for everything and this is part of it. So I want to get going with this and then um, we'll come back in some other videos and work on catching up with some of the ink bottle swatches uh, aside from the ink samples. So um, I'll start with uh, I'll start with the Goulet. These I did um, put the um, rings on the cap because I was going to put them in storage and I realized that I hadn't swatched them with you. So I'm going to do that and then we will swatch uh, samples from Pen Chalet and then from Gold Spot. And this was an order from Gold Spot. Some samples, um, the little crab uh, pen holder and a Lamy nib. I think it's the music nib. Um, I'll have to look at my receipt to verify that. But anyway, let's get going on adding some of this gorgeous ink to my old swatch book. Again, that's another project that I have going, is working on my new swatch book um, and new swatch um, system. I had, earlier, I had made pages of like color colorways and tried to organize my sample bottles like that, but um, I added a whole page of ink flight samples for April and it's a mixture of colors. And I'm gonna do, um, the same here because I have to swatch May's ink flight. I'm behind on that and I'll do that in another video soon. Um, today I'm just going to finish out working on this uh, page of browns, but it's just going to be random. Um, I think a lot of these will work, but let's get going because I've been chit-chatting way too much. Um, and we're going to start with Monteverdi Olivine. I do believe since I had this sample, I do believe I've ordered the full bottle and may have swatched it with you. I am not sure on that, but I do know that I did um, purchase a full bottle. Let me go over here of the Olivine. Um, as you know, I've been enjoying green inks or the olive green, green inks and green pens as of late. So I'll let that dry a little bit. And today I'm just going to be using the uh, the J. Urban, um glass dip nib that actually came with the uh, April Ink Flight um, box. So uh, I capped that because I'm trying to be careful, but I need inside again. Mm, okay. All right. I didn't realize what a project um, my, creating my new swatch system was going to be like. Um, I know after I started this book and created it, there's some changes that I wish I had implemented. So I'm going to be implementing those in the new uh, swatch system. I Months ago, I watched uh, Ginger Peach, Peachy Stationery and her Rolodex and her cards uh, system. I really, really like that. So I ordered all the materials. Um, I ordered the cards from the company that she shared. I ordered the Rolodex and I was just waiting for summer break so I could get busy on a project. So I'll have that in the works and I'll be sure to share, you, share with you sometime along the way. I'm anxious to have a finished product to share. Um, but in the meantime, I'm still using my color rings and I'm still using my swatch book because I still have inks coming in. Um, and I have a lot to share. They weren't all ordered at the same time. They're just accumulating on me because I've been out of uh, video commission for a bit. So, and on my desk in front of me, I have four more, five, Six more full full bottles to share, and three mini bottles, um, but it's all good. All right, this is Robert Oster. Oh my 
goodness. I can't talk and write. I just wrote roster. <laughs> Y'all laugh with me, okay? I can laugh at myself. I'm just, I'm having a ball. <laughs> Robert Oster. <laughs> Fire and ice. And this is a gorgeous color. Wow. This um, could be a, a nice contender for um, a turquoise or teal on uh, the recent rainbow favorite inks that I, I recently shared. Because um, that's gorgeous. It reminds me of the Pelican um, turquoise. As a matter of fact, let me flip here. Pelican turquoise. It reminds me very much of that. So, um, one more. This is Ferris Wheel Press Lady Rose. Um, I don't have too many Ferris Wheel Press inks. Most of them. I've ordered one full bottle from them, and it was the Adventurine, I um, can't remember the name, right offhand. But um, one thing I've noticed about the Ferris Wheel Press inks of the samples that I've experienced, I did it again, is it's um, very <clears throat> light. And when I say light, I don't really mean in color, I just mean in saturation. It's like it takes um, a lot of ink and you have to be careful when using inks that are too light. And I believe this one is too light. We'll see what happens when it dries. <clears throat> Lady Rose. It is very pretty. It looks like it would match my uh, Kaweco. Uh, sport, uh, AL Sport in the rose gold color. So those are ready for the tray. And we'll continue on to the next bag, which is from Pinchelet. And these have already some sample uh, paper caps or labels. I appreciate that. Nice. Okay, we'll start with this bright. This is Robert Oster um, Antelope Canyon. Oh, okay. I know why I ordered this. Um, Robin from My Desk, her YouTube channel is My Desk. She shared this in an um, ink swatch, and I really thought it was really pretty. So when I saw it available, at Pinchelet, of course I place the order for the sample because it looks like a great fall ink. I'm gonna put a little bit more down here, see what happens with a pooling. My rinse water is getting colorful. So, okay, I'm gonna spell his name correctly. This is a very wet ink. Robert Oster, Antelope Canyon. A nice amber color um, for late summer, early fall. Right on into Thanksgiving, that's really pretty. Very true to the sample on the cap from where I see it. And next we have Robert Oster Gold Antiqua. I do have already a full bottle of the rose gold. And ooh, I like this because it's got that olive color um, shade tint to it. Very nice. Gold Antiqua. I do have the Robert Oster um, Rose Gold Antiqua in a full bottle that I've had for some time. I do like this. This would look good in my Pelican um, white tortoise. 
Right now I use the Robert Oster Muddy Bucket, which I like a lot in that pen. I have to bring that out and share it with you again. I like it. So one thing about the samples is you can, uh, oh goodness, I did not realize I was out of frame. I apologize. All the way at the bottom of my page and I'm just talking away. And y'all can imagine what it looks like as I'm putting it down on paper. I'm so sorry. All right. And the last um, Robert or Penchelet sample set is Robert Oster Bronze. It looks like another uh, light olive green color on the cap sample. Oh, yeah. Very nice. Um, looks a lot like the gold antiqua so if you are in the market for gold antiqua and they happen to be out you'll know that the robert oster bronze would be a a nice contender there runner up or even a little more olive green if you if you like that okay this is bronze this is a nice shade again would look good in the pelican white tortoise. Let me bring that up a little bit so give you a closer look. The new ones that we've added. Okay. And then I'm going to move to the latest from Gold Spot. And this was, I didn't choose the ink samples in this pack. It was a, oh, I just got a lightning alert on my phone. Um, it was a surprise me pack. I think that's what it was called on the website. So um, I'm going to be surprised. <laughs> I like some surprises. As a matter of fact, I do have to share um, a surprise that I, I got from them in April. It was the mystery box pen, and it also has some samples in it. That will be in another video. So I'll have to put my sample rings on top. We'll start with Diamine Desert Burst. Again, this is from Gold Spot. I? I should have started on this side. Again, another beautiful ink. I like it. Oh, wow. Make sure I'm in frame. Sorry about that. And it is Diamine Desert Burst. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. It even looks similar to, oh wow, that gold, um, the bronze is changing color. It like has a bronze sheen. I don't know if I can capture that in light for you. Oh my, nice. Okay, Desert Burst. Let's look at Toucan. This is Monteverdi. Monteverdi Toucan. Oh, is that a purple? Mm. It looks similar to a black violet. With some, maybe some hints of uh, eggplant. I don't know gray eggplant. We'll see what happens as it dries. Again, this is called Monte Verde. Toucan. Somewhere in this book I've, I've spelled Monte Verde incorrectly. I just forgot a letter because I get busy talking and just kind of operate on, I don't know, autopilot without much thought. <laughs> One more from Gold Spot, and then we'll call this video a wrap so I can get onto 
setting up for some more fabulous sharing. All right, this is Noodler's General of the Armies. I have several, ooh, that's pretty. I have several Noodler's inks, um, but not this one. General of the Armies. Nice. Oh goodness, I just had a bubble. We'll leave that there. Oh, do you hear that lightning? Thunder? Do you hear the lightning? Do you hear that thunder outside? That's going coming along with my lightning. Okay, this is quite unique. Um, when I lay down the ink sample on the bottle, it looked more green. And when I started writing, and that's a shading ink, by the way, beautiful shader. It's more of a, a light teal. Let's pull this up and let you look. Oh, I don't wanna drip my spot there. Pull this up and let you look at the difference in the sample and the ink that I used on the dip pen. So the Monteverdi Toucan looks like it has some shimmer in it. It's, it's looking like um, a dark gray and the shimmer is either gold or bronze. Diamine Desert Burst is another beautiful shading ink similar to my coffee ink from a previous video. Again, these um, inks have dried the Robert Oster Bronze, Gold Antiqua, Antelope Canyon, Lady Rose, Fire and Ice, and Olivine. So those, that, that's a, a wrap for all the ink samples that we wanted to swatch together today. Again, um, these were from Goldspot, Pinchelet, and Goulet. So, Hope you found a favorite that you'd like to try out and maybe place an order for your samples or even your full bottle. Um, thanks for spending your precious moments with me. You have a blessed day. Bye-bye.